Okay, okay. Let me turn my fan off. Okay. So, um, I decided that I wanted to do a tweeting tutorial, so, yeah, I will. Um, so first, you gotta go into a light motion. I know that wasn't the best intro, but whatever. Tweeting tutorial. I like you go into, um, so, this is all the projects I've done. That look pretty good according to my to me and my cousin, so <laughs> anyways, you're gonna wanna click this and then you're gonna wanna uh if you want to you could make the project name. I'm just gonna name it test again. Um and then you'll click create from scratch. So I will have you know that you can add elements like from your media, but you know um, I usually use the body sheets that I make. Don't mind the names. Don't mind the names. So, for this one, I'm going to use Nongi. Uh, we'll do, we'll do, like, like this, you know? Like this. Okay, so now that you've got that, um, I'm going to give you a rundown. If you made the body sheet correctly... You're going to want to convert it to group, by the way, so it doesn't move the actual, like, base, if you know what I'm talking about. But, um, I probably should have grouped these together, but who cares, who cares. So, you're going to want to check if you made the base correctly. Um, set your pivot points, you know. So, this moves like, hi, hi guys. <laughs> um, I don't think I set the arms correctly. You know, that's okay. It's okay. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, I'll teach you how to do a head bot first. So, you're gonna take the head, obviously. You're gonna put one keyframe at the start. And one keyframe at the end. And then you're gonna... Like that. Try not to keep it at the center, though. So... If you remove all the other groups... Sorry, he's bald, but I need you guys to see this. If you remove all the other groups, the head moves down. Very slowly, but you can see that it's moving. So... What you want to do to get it to kind of like head bop? Sorry, I had to remove the layers again. I don't know why that why I added them. You're gonna go into the group. You're going to go into move and transform. You're gonna go to the thing below the keyframes. You're gonna click on uh this the thing like on the side. You're gonna click try it first. But if you already have premium, then just use your premium. And then you could select whichever one you want. Um, I'll add the clip right here, like. Um, telling how to how I like get it on beat with my animation. Okay, wait. Let me let me check if the microphone is on. Okay, so um, what you need to do? Go to frick. I already like grouped these together, but we'll try. So I'm gonna edit this. Okay, this is the head bop. You see, it was um. Look. That was on. So what you want to do is you want to go into. this and then so what i did i listened to the song and then i counted one two three four and then what i did was we'll use this one for example the scale it was four um what's it called four of these so it was on beat that's basically how you make it on beat but there you go you have a head bop and um to get all the other layers to move with it, I know some people use layer parenting, but that's too confusing for me. So what I do is I copy curve. Um, you go into, like, say, the bangs. You do the same process, but you just move this down. And then you paste curve. And then there you go. But what I like to do for the bangs is scale assist. Uh, click on scale. Don't change the axis or anything, because I don't even know what they, those do. Or damping. Just click on scale. And then keyframes. 
and then move it like this to where it goes like down and then paste curve and then it looks like like that you know and then do the same with the <coughs> with the what's it called the back here i know he has a bald spot right here i'm gonna fix it um Yeah, that's how, sorry, I'm trying to, like, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's how I do a head bob, and then you just do, like, the same thing for, like, the face, you know. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so head bob completed. We're gonna go into the next test. So, if that's all you wanted to come here for, that's okay. Um, you could do that. You could leave right now, but... Yeah, on to the next way I tween. Okay, for this one. Also, I just realized the time is 4, 5, 6. Guys, wait, I'm goaded. Wait. Guys, wait. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so, for this one, you, I'm going to use Namgyu again. You're going to go to Element Properties again. Convert to Group. Um, And then you're going to go to the arm one of the arms edit group and then here i'm gonna show you how <laughs> i work my magic um if it keeps on going off camera and it like cuts off you're gonna want to move it to the center of the base but then you could just adjust it when you go to the group like the body sheet so how i get the arm to move is you have to have the pivot point set correctly so if you don't have it set correctly you should go fix that it like it set at the end of the limbs right here so yeah just fix that if you need to <sighs> set the keyframes again and then if you want it to like this one is mirrored so if you want it to move this way move it this way and if you want it to move this way this way move it you know you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna want it to move this way so I'll just move it this way. And you'll see right here that there's a little bit of the, of the, this, crap, huh? Of this sticking out. So I'll show you how you fix that. But you're gonna wanna add keyframes to this too. So it doesn't look weird. So I'll just do this one, you know? Um, and then you're gonna go to the top one. You're gonna add your keyframes again. And then you're gonna move it down. See, and then you add the same keyframes. Because otherwise, it would just stay the same. But if you add keyframes, then it goes down more, see? And that's how you fix that. So, um, I made it move the wrong way. No, I, no, I didn't. See, now he's... I don't know. I don't know. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other arm. So I'll cut to that. Okay. This is the finished product. You know, he's shrugging. I don't know, dude. Um, And then if you want to, you could get a little fancy with it. You could go to scale assist. You could click on scale, add the keyframes. Do that. Not that much. Not that much. Like this. No, don't. Okay. And do this. See, now, now it looks fancy, okay? See, see? Um, that's really all I know how to do. If you want to ask for any, like, tips or more tutorials, then feel free to. But this is the only really stuff I felt like I should cover, because it's only the stuff that I do. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Or if I make this into a short, then I don't know. But yeah.